Ever wondered why you put off things until the last minute? It's a phenomenon we're all too familiar with, isn't it? This, my friends, is what we call procrastination. It's that nagging tendency to delay tasks that we find daunting or uninteresting. Now you might ask, why do we procrastinate? Well, there are several common reasons. Some of us fear failure so we hesitate to even start. Others strive for perfection and feel overwhelmed by the high standards we set for ourselves. And then, there are those who simply lack the motivation to get going. If you're nodding your head in agreement, don't fret. There's a helpful guide out there, aptly titled, The Art of Laziness, Overcome Procrastination, and Improve Your Productivity. It's a treasure trove of insights and strategies to help you tackle this procrastination beast. But what if procrastination isn't the enemy we've always believed it to be? Let's delve into the world of productive laziness. Imagine a world where your procrastination actually leads to your success. Yes, you heard it right. Welcome to the world of the art of laziness. Overcome procrastination and improve your productivity. This is not about promoting indolence, but about harnessing our natural inclination towards rest and relaxation to boost productivity. The book introduces us to the concept of productive laziness. It's a paradoxical term, isn't it? But let's unravel it. Productive laziness is not about doing nothing. It's about doing less of what doesn't matter and more of what does. It's about being strategic with your effort and energy. One of the key techniques suggested in the book is setting SMART goals. SMART here is an acronym. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This approach ensures our efforts are directed towards what's important and not wasted on tasks that don't align with our objectives. Next, the book encourages us to break tasks into manageable parts. Ever looked at a mammoth task and felt overwhelmed? We've all been there. But by breaking it down into smaller, manageable tasks, it becomes less daunting and more achievable. It's like eating an elephant, one bite at a time. Prioritizing tasks based on their importance and urgency is another key strategy from the book. This method, often referred to as the Eisenhower box, helps us to focus on what truly matters and not get caught up in the flurry of less important tasks. So, this art of laziness is not about lounging on the couch all day, but about working smarter, not harder. It's about learning to use our natural tendency to procrastinate in a productive way by focusing our energy on what really matters. You might be wondering, how does this translate into real-life productivity? Let's discuss some practical applications. How can you turn your procrastination into a productivity powerhouse? Well, it's not as daunting as it sounds. The book, The Art of Laziness, Overcome Procrastination and Improve Your Productivity, provides insightful strategies that can be applied in real-life situations. Let's delve into how we can put these strategies into practice. Firstly, consider crafting a schedule. Yes, it may sound boring, but it's a proven method of improving productivity. A well-structured schedule can act as a roadmap to your day, week, or even month, helping you prioritize tasks and manage your time effectively. You'll be able to identify your most productive hours and allocate your most challenging tasks to these periods. Don't forget to include breaks. Your brain needs them to recharge and maintain high levels of productivity. Secondly, maintaining a positive mindset is key. It's easy to fall into the trap of negative self-talk, especially when you're procrastinating. But remember, everyone procrastinates. It's not a flaw, it's human nature. So, instead of berating yourself for procrastinating, why not use it to your advantage? Take that time to reassess your goals, realign your focus, or simply take a well-deserved break. You might be surprised at how a shift in perspective can boost your productivity. Finally, reward yourself for completed tasks. It's a simple yet powerful strategy. Rewards can be anything you enjoy. A cup of your favorite tea, a short walk, or even a few minutes on your favorite mobile game. These rewards will not only make your tasks more enjoyable, but will also create a positive association with productivity, encouraging you to continue being productive. So next time you find yourself procrastinating, remember, it's not the enemy. It's a tool. Use it wisely and watch your productivity soar.